Right, this video is all about improving your shot selection. So it's improving your golfing intelligence. So you can start to look at the situation you face and choose the right shot at the right time. Because that's the thing I see that a lot of amateurs let themselves down with. It's actually the thinking part of the game, okay? And so many shots can be saved by just thinking better on the golf course. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through 10 different scenarios around the green, explaining the scratch handicap shot and the mid to high handicap options so you can see which shot is more suited to your game. At the end of this video, you'll have a higher golfing IQ, you'll be able to read the situation better, use the right club, help you get up and down more times when you miss the greens. We've got um, an interesting shot here. Let's say you're here on a par four and in two, and you've got this big bunker to go over, you've got a patch of rough, Bermuda grass rough, it's gonna stick in there if you land in it, and then it's a downslope to the hole. And I think a lot of golfers think there's a rule in the rule book that says, I must aim at the pin at all times. And there isn't that rule at all, okay? You've got to weigh it up. Now, there are two options here. You have option A, which is maybe for a, an elite player or a really low handicap player. And then I'm going to do an option B for the high handicap player as well. Because in this situation, I would see most golfers, as I just said, going for the pin, I'd see lots of shots go in the bunker and then two more shots out the bunker. I'd see some shots sending over the other side. And as I say, you're here in two and suddenly walking away with an eight or a nine. What I would do here, if I was a high handicapper and didn't really fancy hitting a lob shot, was just going down here to the left hand side. So actually just not even bringing any of that into play. If I maybe got a shot on this hole, I can just get it on the green in two foot territory, make a five, get two points if it's a stable foot and, and walk on. So this would be option A, if you wanted to just play it nice and safe, just kind of just go over the edge of the bunker there, release one, basic chip, hit something like that, get it into the flat part of the green, and that's a fairly easy putt now, it's about 25 feet, you should be able to two putt that, and you've taken all the danger out. It's not been negative, it's about trying to shoot your lowest score. If you're, a more advanced player and you're looking to really try and get this up and down it's an interesting one as well because if you're going to go straight for the pin you're landing on the down slope there it's probably going to kick on about six to eight feet past the hole you could, if you played an absolutely world-class shot you might be able to pull it off but the the danger is there's not much green between the rough and the pin so you've got to be absolutely perfect with your carry there's a little area to the left of the pin maybe eight feet uh, left of it where it might kind of looks like it might want to feed so you can let the slope feed it down a little bit um, and accept that eight feet left is a lot safer because there's more green to work with and it's the same as going eight feet long if you go directly for the pin so I'm going to go just left of the pin I've got a 60 out now so I'm going to do a release three lob shot but I'm going to see if I can just get it left of the pin there and give myself a putt for part so that's pretty much where I wanted it to be there we go, see the slope bringing it round? So don't always think you'd have to go directly for the pin. Use the contours a bit. I gave myself a good margin for error. If I was a little bit short on that angle, it was fine. If I was short on line to the pin, I'd have been in trouble. So, you know, there's, there's a good chance of getting up and down there. I'm hopefully gonna make two putts from there, but a couple of options, the safe one, and then the more adventurous one. Okay, so this scenario, really common one. You're in a runoff area, really tight, wet lie and it's going up. The pin's around about 12 feet over the ridge there. Now, again, this is a situation where I think golfers will, will, will try and chip this. Uh, if they land it on the green near the pin, there's a, there's a bunker the other side and it could go in there. Um, so this needs a release too. The lie is tight. It's doable, but it would, again, it would be a highly skilled shot to be able to play it. Option A, the safer option, Again, if you're just trying to shoot the lowest score, is a little hybrid or a putter. The only thing with a putter, it's quite a steep slope here. You'd have to hit it really hard. A hybrid is going to help nudge the ball forward a bit more. So if you get your hybrid out and give it a putting stroke, hopefully it'll work its way up the slope there. See how it pops forward. Really easy shot, tight lie, look. Nearly hold it, okay. So that, even for the more advanced players upon you, you know, that's... A really easy shot to play. Don't need to always risk getting um, too much loft in your hand. 
But if you didn't fancy that, maybe your golfer thinks, well, I'm not very good with her. I can't feel it very well when I do that. And you wanted to try and plan this on the green. I say it's the tough shot. Okay, is she release to let the bounce work under the ball here and you're gonna to have to fly this onto the green, about six feet on the green. Like that. It just trickles on. So the hybrid's one there, okay, so the we were three feet versus a few inches. But the lesson there is these tight wet lies, a lot can go wrong. Just sometimes just a simple shot with a hybrid, work it up the slope, is gonna get the job done for you. Okay, so we've got probably the toughest shot in golf here, the long bunker shot. We've got an okay lie in the sand, and it's got about 35 yards of bunker to a pin that's only about 10, 12 feet on. That's a very narrow green as well. And you know, if we're just coming back to the main theme of this video is just make, we're trying to shoot the lowest score we possibly can. Because this is such a difficult shot even for the very best players if you're here it's par five let's say you're here in in three i really wouldn't recommend you go for the pin here there's plenty of room over to the right so you're going to play a normal sort of bunker shot if you can get a little further great and then you've got an angle into the pin you could then chip on maybe hold the putt but if not you know you're walking away with an okay score you're not creating the disaster if you to, were to go for the pin and you're not a competent long bunker shot player, particularly someone who can get it high out of a long bunker, which is even tougher, then the, the likelihood here is you're going to hit it a few feet in front of you and then again and then again and you're going to end up putting the ball in your pocket. So if you want to keep your scorecard ticking over, let's just get it over here. Let's just play your normal bunker shot with maybe a, don't play it with your lob wedge because we want a little bit of distance. So play it if you're 54 or 56 and just play your normal splash shot. Out we go, we create an angle and we're back in the hole and we're playing, okay? If you are more of an advanced player and you want to give this a go, then in a lot of my videos I talk about long bunker shots using nine irons and pitching wedges. You can't do that here because it's going to come in too flat. So you've got to here use a 56. I'm going to square the face a little bit and really increase the speed of the chest. This is, as I say, this is a, a tough shot. We'll see if we can get it there. Lots of speed, keep the legs down. So you can see that's that's I mean I played that really nicely it's just landed in the slope and come back in so I've got a green side bunker shot now which is even a long bunker shot but I'm having two bunker shots okay whereas now I've got from over there I've got a fairly easy easy pitch okay so you know don't always automatically assume you have to go for the pin particularly when you've got a devilish bunker shot like this one right so I've got 65 yards into the green here it's fairly flat all the way there's a little bit of of a break off the bunker on the left there. Pins around about 30 feet on. And, you know, it's one of those tricky numbers for a lot of people, 65 yards. If you're a high handicapper, you know, you could try hitting your pitch shot in there, not a problem. You know, you should be able to do that. Um, the only danger is if you get it a little thin, there's water at the back. And obviously these tight lies as well, it can be hard to get the strike. So as a safe option, option A for Sort of the less confident golfer, maybe the higher handicap golfer, would be something like a nine iron. And you just do like a long chip with a nine iron, landing it short of the green, near that bank of the bunker, and letting it run up, okay? And it hopefully will get you somewhere near the green or on the green, okay? But it takes out a lot of the real danger, which you have when you get more loft in your hand. So it's a narrow stance. I'm just going to do a little sort of quarter swing, quarter to half swing, just aiming a little left of the hole see if we can run it down so you can see how easy that shot is landing it's running through there we go look at that that's about eight feet okay so really safe shot and you could do that almost every time it's very difficult to to sort of miss hit that now if option b if you're a high a, a lower handicap and uh or you you feel like you're quite confident with pitching you just throw it all the way there so it's 65 yards I've got my 56, this is my standard pitch shot. Rotate around my feet, my chest. And there's the aerial route in there. A little bit long, so the nine iron's one. Um, but it's fine, it's just past the pin, about 15 feet. So two options, okay? 
no right and wrong. You've got to do what's going to help you shoot your lowest score, whether it's going in low or going in high. Right, we really are in position Z here. It's just hard pan, muddy, tight, sandy lie. Um, and it goes down and up through the fringe there and then rapidly downhill off the left to the pin. So again, if you're chipping this, I mean, it's just so tough. I mean, I can't tell you how tough this shot is. So I think option A, the safe option here, is get the putter out. Because you know you're going to get a strike with the putter. It, you're going to accept it is going to move around a bit through the, through the ground there. And you're going to have to pretty hard to get it up that slope there. So anything on the green here from this position for a high handicap golfer would be good because then you can take two putts from there and move on. If, and if, if I offered you three shots from here to get this ball into the hole, you should take it. So you've got to remember that. It's, you don't have to always get up and down. Just keep the scorecard ticking. Just get it on the green and two putt. So put a bit of hinge in your stroke here just to give it a bit more speed. Um, aim a little bit left of the hole here, allow for a bit of break, but accept it could bobble off anywhere. Okay, so a bit of hinge, pop it through, and there we go. Go in, go in. There we go. Just shows the uh, option A seems to be winning here. Right, so <clears throat> if you were more adventurous and you wanted to and get it on the same light. Wanted to get this a little bit more in the air. I mean, it's, I don't think you get inside that shot there, but um, we're going to play the toe down here. So I'm going to put the toe down on the toe end of the club. It's shaved off more, so we can use it to our advantage when we get these sort of lies. Put the toe down, stand really close, swing out to win. And try and get the toe digging under the ball, aiming left, and let the slope take it down to the hole. This is extremely tough. Right, I've got a great strike, but you can see Domeo could have done much better there playing option B, going in the air. So again, the safe option there is just the putter, work it through. You know, don't automatically reach for a wedge when you're in this sort of situation. It's all part of building this IQ up to help you get up and down more. Okay, so we've got an interesting uh, scenario here. We've got lots of green to work with. The lie is fine. It's just a nice tight lie, uh, but it's quite a lot of slope, so it goes down and then it comes back so option a for the higher handicapper would be like a nine iron chip and run land it short of the slopes work it through the slopes so you've got to read it and run it down there so you're going to land it around a third of the way it's going to go it's going to kick that way and then come back from the left so it's your standard chip and run release one and you'll see how that just breaks a little bit off to the right there, but that's not too bad, okay? It's down there in a decent position, and again, it's really safe. It's pretty difficult to really mishit that. Now, the better player, option B, might want to throw this over the slope, so carry it a little bit more and take the slope out of play, um, because then it saves it, trying to read it and trying to sort of see how it comes off and see that run on a bit there. It's just gonna give you a little bit more spin, a bit more control and you'll be able to carry it down there. So let's uh, let's give that a go. Lies okay, I can do sort of a, almost a release two here, but carry it over the slope. So you see, I've taken the slope out of play, a lot more control, and it's got closer. So, you know, if you've got that shot in your bag, that's a nice shot to have because you don't need to worry about the slope. But if you haven't, you've got that little nine iron chip and run, which is also a really safe shot. Okay, so a difficult shot here. It's sitting down in the rough on a down slope and the green slopes quite sleepily down to the pin there with a little sort of bowl at the bottom. So um, a few options here. I would be as a safe option <clears throat> because it's easy just to duff this in front of you and equally it would be easy for the ball to run away and get off the green at the front there. If I was just trying to play protective golf, I'd be hitting it on this down slope and let the down slope kick it forward, right? So I wouldn't be trying to, almost trying to duck it on purpose here. Um, so we're just going to make your normal, normal chip in swing, anything on the green, anything kind of hitting that slope and working forward will do. Okay, it wasn't a particularly pretty strike, but look, we're down there, you know, it's doing okay. If you're a player that wanted a bit more control than that, 
Option B will be to try and fly it a little bit further, even though it's sitting down. So you go wide in the stance, still put some release into it, and the ball will come off with a little bit more control, a bit more spin. Although that's how I land on the downslope, so that's the risk there. So option one, option A, I'd just be bumping it forward, okay? Sometimes you try and play these fancy shots like I did there, hits the downslope, kicks on, it doesn't get as close as a safe one. Okay, so this is quite an interesting one. We've got lots of green to work with. There's tears in the green. If you go past the pin, it's really quick back, all right? So there are two options here. Option A, the safe option, is a little eight iron chip and run. Danger of it, you're not gonna have much spin on it, and if it goes past the pin, you might have a tough putt back. But you can maybe try and leave it short of the hole. Um, where's the break? A little bit to the right, look, left to right. So let's just play a standard chip and run up the hill there. And you can see there's no spin on the ball, and it's running out, running out, running out. But you can see it's just moved on past the pin. That's a really tough putt back, and probably not gonna hold that. Could even free putt if it's so quick down the hill. So the more advanced option, option B, would be to use a lofted club. So I've got a 52 here, a gap wedge, and I can play a release one, maybe just try and draw the face a little bit, but it'll have more check on it. So it's less likely to go past the pin like that. So that gets you to strike. This, this option gives you a bit more control. So we'll see, hopefully see a bit more check on that first bounce. So you can see the spin, and it's just kind of gently working up towards the hole, just beneath the hole there got a much better chance of holding that putt than the one from past the hole. So sometimes a little bit more spin with a bit more loft, but still play a release one is gonna get the job done for you. Right, so we're in a green side bunker here to a really tough pin position. This green is like saddled. So if you go a little bit long, it's gonna catch the slope and run off the other side into a bunker the other side. So it's really short-sided here but there's a, a big part of the green on the left here, much wider part where you, which you can play to where it's safer. So if you perhaps were a player who didn't spin your bunker shots that much, if you go for the pin, you're gonna be playing another bunker shot for your next shot. If you go this side, it's safer. So 56 degree or whatever you carry in terms of sand wedge and just play your normal bunker shot out to the left there Okay, it doesn't spin too much, but actually it's holding the green. You're gonna two putt, you're gonna make a four on this par three and move on. If you can spin it and you can wanna play this short-sided shot, then this is option B. This is the more advanced option. Further away, lower the hands, increase the release and get more spin. Obviously it's all lie dependent, but lie's okay here, so I've got the green light to do it. So more spin, managed to hold the slope, okay, got a little three footer up the hill to save par. But if I wasn't confident in being able to spin it like that, out to the left's the shot. Right, so in the rough, this is straight downhill. Absolute marble staircase down to the hole, okay. Um, two options, I think a really safe option here is to do a putt chip where you get a 54 or 56 and you put the, uh, the ball just in the toe and you get the handle nice and high, use a putting grip, so I use a reverse overlap grip and just aim a little left of the hole there and just do a little putting stroke back and through and you can see the spin and it just feeds down to the hole. Really easy shot. Option B, if you wanted to maybe get a little more height and a bit more spin, you could still do a little mini release too, just a mini one. It will pop out nice and soft as well. See, it comes out really soft and works its way down. So a couple of options, again, there's no right and wrong, but the little, little putt chips are really safe one when you're playing down slopes. But again, if you've got the ability to play little mini release twos, that's quite a nice touch and feel shot as well. So just remember, you know, if you are that high handicapper, you don't have to be doing these sort of high tariff shots, okay? Just do your basic shot. Just get the thing on the green and running down, okay? You're trying to shoot the lowest score you can. That's the goal of goal. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you understand the short game a little bit more. I always say short game is 50% technique and it's 50% thinking. So this video has been all about improving your ability to think on the golf course. Give yourself options. Think about option A and option B next time you play and choose, choose the one you think is gonna help you shoot the lowest score. 
Um, once you start thinking this way, it's amazing where it takes your short game because most people just play a shot and then they think, you've got to think before, you've got to visualize, predict what might happen before it happens. It's a really big skill in short game. So hopefully it's helped you and enjoy your golf.